Welcome guys to top four. I'm up against Hamrock again. We lost already once to him uh, in the PPL. So this is PPL top four. We are kind of prepped uh, versus Hamrock. I tried to make a lot of adjustments. Um, I do want to lose to Kerr Snorlax, so I got my Coqueldo with me. I have a few. I've, I have a choice band Diggersby as well. I've just got a bulky De uh, bulky Milotic, Deancey, bulky. Uh, Dragon with Claire just to paralyze everything, and we've got Celestia, of course, dealing trying to deal with everything. You know, the basic sets from Flate uh Heavy Slab, Leech Seed, Protect, which is quite easy, easily easy set. But yeah, um, this time I actually remembered to bring huge power Dingsby, which really helps, uh, is gonna help me in this match, certainly. The Necrozma is scary, uh, Necrozma and Snorlax are the most scary things versus me. Uh, if I can keep my Celesteel alive, the Scizor isn't that scary at all as well. Uh, Shaman can be quite scary as well, but yeah, then again, I need the Celesteel. So Celesteel is probably one of my most important Pokemon to keep. Diggersby just there to chunk everything in the NC as well. So that's really it, and we're gonna go right into it. Oh, So he leads off with the Shaman, I lead off with uh, Celesteel, because Celesteel had the best matchup against the majority of his Pokemon. I just go for a flamethrower on the shaman. He go, uh, decides to go to his Celesteela. Uh, I burn him so he can see already my move set. On my Celesteela, he knows that I'm the most basic of Celesteela sets. Uh, the flamethrower burn is quite unfortunate for him. But yeah, that's the game as well. I just go for protect to see what he is going to do. And I've already and for those that have already seen it, he is indeed leftover. So he really needs that leech seed. Right? So he goes for Lichi. I can go for Lichi as well, but I can uh, I can switch out to Pokemon that really deals with this Celestila, because um, like Flamethrower and the Flamethrower and the Heavy Slam doesn't do that much to my uh, Conkeldor. He goes for the Flamethrower, gets the burn as well, which is actually quite great for me, because uh, I was expecting like he was gonna um, begin with Toxic Spikes or something. I am guts. I am guts uh, Conkeldor, so this really helps me. I could just go for a knockoff expecting the Necrozma to come in because I really don't want that coming in. I really don't want that. So he decides to switch into Drapion. Uh, by the way, my Conkeldor is a Figgy Berry just to deal with. Well, it's just there, you know. Because the Sulfast wasn't really gonna help me. He goes for knockoff, so I lose my Figgy Berry, which is quite unfortunate, but I can go for the Drape Punch. And as we see, neutral uh, Drape Punch this, does so much on this Drapion. We can just go for a mag punch, kill off this Drapion, and we get uh, we are getting our first kill as well, which is really great for me, because uh, the Drapion no toxic spikes. Uh, it well, it kind of de dealt a lot. I don't want to switch here. So uh, my, in my mind, last time I got swept by Necrozma with Cold Mine, Heat Wave. Well, that really chunked a lot. I had to lose three Pokemon for that, and I don't want to go through that again. So um, expecting him to set up or substitute or anything. I just went for the knockoff because I know that my Echo Keller is very important for the Snorlax, but I have other ways to deal with it. I have my Choice Band Dixby, I have, um, I have Dragon Tail on both of these Pokemon as well. I can deal with it in my mind. So I'm just going for the knockoff, trying to deal with that. I really don't want him to set up his substitute or Calm Mind, so I really want to kill him. He goes for the Saki, kills off my Cranberries, which is fine by me. They, um, in on my end, I still think that's my best play. So I switch in my Diggsby, um, expecting me to be faster because I know that he's probably going to be a bit bulkier uh, if he's a Calm Mind setup set. And I go just go for Choice Band and U-Turn, and I do get a crit, but <laughs> I do get a crit and kill off the Shaman with a U-Turn, which is really great for me. I've got very lucky with a burn and a crit as well. Uh, I switch it to my Diancy. Expecting him to bring in the scissor so I can bring in my Dredigan. My Dredigan has Rocky Helmet and uh, Ruskin, which can just deal chip as well. I don't want to glare uh, in front of this in the cross mark because, yeah, substitute is dangerous. So I'm just going to drag until uh, for him to switch out. He goes into Snorlax. I can go for my Stealth Rocks. Just want those. He goes for the curse, so next turn he can go for an attack. And meanwhile, I'll have to go for Dragon Tail, which actually has negative priority, which kills me. So, yeah, that happens, which is fine. I still have my Melotic. My Melotic is also Dragon Tail. 
as you see, voila. And as you see, the earthquake does 33, which is fine. Good, save it good damage. And he goes for back to the, the crossbar. I'm just gonna stay in because my, my Lotic is my bulky wall. Well, one, two, two of my bulky walls are still left, which is my Lotic and the Celestila. So I just want to let this the crossbar die real soon because I really need it. So I go for recover. Uh, he has Moonlight as well, but my recover, of course, I have more PP. He goes to Ditto, uh, Ditto taking rocks damage and burn damage. Uh, still having the leftovers, but not really having that much. Uh, he can go for the recover though, thanks to uh, thanks to being well having my move set, which helps him a lot uh, and gives me the opportunity to just go for Dragon Tail and just see what Isles comes in. The scissor comes in, and we probably know the scissor is default. I can just go for a Scald as well. I still have my Celestial as well. I just go over say skull just to try to get a burn. I don't get a burn, which is fine. He goes for the defog. Uh, rocks are gone, and I don't have any rock center anymore. Uh, so I really have to try to deal with this. So I go to my Celestila, expecting him to, well, U turn or uh, even, well, bug bite or anything really. But he goes for the roost, so uh, good play by him. He goes to the Celestila, which I find a very odd play because, like, I'm obviously gonna flame throw the scissor. Uh, I'm not gonna risk anything else So flamethrower again, and as you see it does quite a lot He goes for the lead sheet. I can go for another flamethrower now. I have to switch out though because um, Yeah, my special defense raises which is yeah, so it's good But like I can't have this no like having lead sheet recovery as well So I go to my Diggsby, which is choice banded huge power um, just to deal damage with this and uh, we're actually going for a crit fishing because we know that he's gonna try and set up a lot which he's doing right now and as you see okay still does 43 which is fine does 36 now he has to go for the rest uh, let's see if he's chesto berry yes indeed he's chesto so we can go for another quick doing another 36 uh 31 i mean so the next one will do 29 uh, the next earthquake so if he goes for another well and then i crit so, let's go back. So, I'll play. Yep, up, up, up. So, we see this one does 39. So, the next one should do about 28, uh, 28, 29. So, that would put him at 40 something else. He could have set up again, or he could have had, uh, he could have attacked me. If he attacked me, that would have been, well, fine, because I still have the answer with Moonblast, trying to deal as much damage. I know that my Melotic cat is at 94%, which can still lift uh, an attack from the Snorlax, we can, which I can just drag until then. I got my Celesteela with Leech Heat, uh, Protect, just to try and stall him out as well. Earthquake not doing that much, of course, to my Celesteela. Um, I don't know what else, what other move this Snorlax has. But yeah, as you see, the game decides, nope, this Snorlax is going to die right now by this Diggers B. And we Earthquake and we kill off this uh, Snorlax with a crit. Which it makes me very lucky because I got a burn. I got a burn on my Conkeldor. I got a crit uh, U-turn and now I got a crit here. Which is very unfortunate, very unfortunate for my opponent. I can just go to Celestila and just deal with the remaining two Pokemon. And just go for Flator. So this was my top four match. So this means, actually means that I'm in... Uh, the finals, which is uh, amazing, like I didn't expect it to do uh, this well. So yeah, I hope you guys uh, really did enjoy this. I hope you guys uh, watch this series. I want to do more. I want to do more good content on my channel. Honestly, I really do. And so that's why I got the edited Let's Go video. I'm editing Let's Go to. Uh, video as well I want to do smash as well and I really want to do edited videos you know so I hope you guys stick with me I'm gonna try and bring out more good content and that's really it uh, I'll see you guys in final for the PBL have you guys enjoyed this bye